I'm a revolutionary in the peak of a revolution. Well, a revolution is a big change in the world. It's something that you do to make sure that the whole world hears you. A revolutionary is the one that stands in the front, the person that leads the marches, leads the protest. You're the person that the rest of the world looks to to follow. Personally, I know I'm a revolutionary. I've already had my mind and my heart set on changing this world. I know that if I leave a positive impact on every person I come encounter with, then the world will change. Think about that, though. Let's think about it. Come on. I put a smile on his face. He turned around and put a smile on her face. She walked all the way across the room, put a smile on his face. He turned around and put a smile on his mom's face. Wouldn't that be the first step of world peace? Honestly, everybody in the room is going to be happy. World peace. There was a time when I was walking in my high school. I was on the way to the bathroom during first period, and I ran into a girl who was crying. I said, are you okay? Can I do anything to help you? She said, I don't think you'll understand. I really don't want to talk about it. Pushed a little bit further, and I said, are you sure? I've been through some things in my life that nobody knows about. Are you sure I wouldn't understand? I said, we can walk to the bathroom, you can wipe your tears and we can talk. She said, okay. So we walked to the bathroom, and she went on to tell me how she had no food in her house, how she felt unwanted and unloved by her mother. Her father was absent in her life. She had a sister that was the same age as her, who was depending on her when she had no one to depend on. She felt as if the world was on her shoulders and she just couldn't move any further. Immediately, I said, hold on one second. I ran out the bathroom and I grabbed a muffin that my mom had packed me that day. And I came back because she told me she was hungry. Then I wiped her tears and I went on to tell her that she's powerful, she's beautiful, that she can do all things. You know what I'm saying? Then I cracked the joke to put a smile on her face because that's what I do. I make people smile. She told me that I changed her life. She told me that I reminded her that there's still positive people in this world. She told me I changed her life. Remind you, I was only talking to her for about five to eight minutes, not even 10, five to eight minutes, and I changed her life. Okay, now what could you do in 10 minutes, right? You're talking to somebody for 10 minutes, not knowing their background, nor where they came from, and you can change their life, right? Hope you're rocking with me right here when I say there are different things that you can revolutionize. You can start with racism, or you can do racism, which is a big problem in this world. Females, you can do feminism. But I want you guys to start with something that really hits home, bullyism. Bullyism. Hmm. That word's not in the dictionary. I just made it up. <laughs> bullyism. Stand up to a bully. Don't participate in silentism. That one's not in the dictionary either because I made that one up too. <laughs> silentism, it means that you're not going to sit here. You're not going to participate in the wrong actions. You're not going to sit here and be quiet because you don't want to be judged. If that makes sense, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to be judged, so you're going to sit here and say nothing at all. Not knowing what the person's going through, they just need you to push them so they can back you up, right? You say something, you stand up to your boss, your coworkers will back you up. Think of it like that. Don't participate in silentism. Okay. So, imagine this. You want to be a revolutionary, right? Who wants to be a revolutionary? Anybody in here want to be a revolutionary? All right. Let's say you're scared. You fear what the next person has to say. That happens a lot. I know a lot of people my age that fear what their classmates are gonna say. 
I know a lot of people, a lot of adults, I know, they fear what their boss is going to say, if their coworkers are going to agree with them. I understand. But then again, I say, don't participate in silentism, right? Okay, cool. How could we be a revolutionary? Not by violence. Right? We can't be violent and want to change this world. You don't have to raise your fist nor shoot a gun to be heard. They have people like Martin Luther King Jr. who led protests, marched, and gave speeches, but never hurt anybody, never killed one person. They have Rosa Parks who sat on the bus, didn't say much, didn't hurt, still made a change, right? They have at my school, they have an organization like the Bells who don't hurt fight, go to all their classes, and represent, and change the world. They have Colin Copernick, who simply went like this during the national anthem. He said he doesn't want to represent or participate in a national anthem that doesn't support people that look like him, nor himself. He was the person that stepped out to be different from everybody else. He was the first step. Now, when people hear the national anthem, they lock arms. They raise their fists, they sit down, don't participate. He's a revolutionary, a nonviolent revolutionary. Okay? Hope you guys are still rocking with me. This is how you become a revolutionary. All right? First, you have to start with yourself. And again, I say, I was born to be a revolutionary. My name is Jamie, French for I love. You start with yourself. You reduce the word hate, you take the word hate out of your vocabulary and learn to love. Learn to love people that you don't like. Then you work with your friends, your close inner circle. Teach them how to love themselves and others. Next, you work with your community. Before you know it, be working with your country, then your world. Why not be a revolutionary? Why not feed the hungry? make the impossible possible. I ask, will you? Will you feed the hungry? Will you be the voice of the voiceless? Will you make the impossible very possible? Stand with me today, and together, we could be the peak of the next revolution. Thank you. <laughs>